Hello everyone and welcome to part 5 of my Metal Gear Solid 3 European Extreme playthrough. I realize it's been a long time since I've filmed uh, a video of any sort for this series and I do apologize. The main reason why it's taken so long is just, um, I've been really busy with schoolwork. I've ha I have a final exam coming up on May 2nd. I've got a lot to study for. I've had, in fact, I had three papers that were due in the middle of this month. And I'm just really exhausted with schoolwork, and I had to just, like, take some time off. And I, there's a carrot in frog. I never really paid attention to that until now. Um, I've had this part previously recorded uh, just a few moments ago, but I accidentally deleted it. I accidentally deleted the footage, so I had to re reload and start over from scratch. And that's always fun. But yeah, sorry for making you guys wait for so long. Uh, you guys might have to wait a bit longer because the game is gonna get harder, obviously, once I go on. Which may mean it may be more difficult to edit because, as you guys may or may not have paid attention to, um, the audio files that I record with commentary are completely separate from the video footage. So if you try editing those two together, rather than combining the two to begin with, it gets a it gets to be a pain in the ass to edit them together. So hopefully I can use my dad's laptop to solve the problems with live commentary because as you know from the Rock of Ages video, anytime I record live commentary with Elgato, the commentary just pauses every 45 seconds and it's awful. Hopefully that problem doesn't happen with my dad's computer when I'm home in the summer, though. So yeah, here's a yet another cutscene. Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. Boss. That arm still hurt? What are you doing here? Sons are waiting up ahead. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. Boss. I'm not your boss anymore. There's nothing for you here. Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America. Those bullets are moving a really weird trajectory. They're not coming out straight at all. should stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. The border is 60 miles south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. Why'd you defect? I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? You don't know the 
truth yet. <sighs> but sooner or later, you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. If we meet again, I'll kill you. Now, go home. Well, that was heartwarming. This is Snake, Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are gonna come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's gotta be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with Volgin isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians. Would she double-cross us like this? But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. <sighs> Whatever you do, don't let them see you. I think that goes without saying. So you probably may have noticed that I've kind of turned the volume of the video up a bit through the Elgato software. I noticed when I was going back looking through my older videos that... Well, by older videos I mean the older videos in this series. I noticed that the volume was really low. Even when it was up maxed and I had headphones on, it was really hard to hear. Actually, I wonder. Look at that. Fully black. He's a soldier of the night. It's appropriate considering it's nighttime. Uh, what the hell is this? I can't imagine I'll wear this camo at any other time in this game, though. Of an enemy intruder. Commence alert formation. I'm going to get the fleck turn on now. And Woodland as well. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. I previously did this part, I failed uh, once or twice. But now I'm going more slowly. I'm taking the long way around, I guess. Normally, there we go. Normally, whenever I'm hanging around the edge of a patch of grass, I can see what's going on. I should wait for this guy to turn around. come this way. It's what happened last time. If you were really patient, I guess you could wait until the timer above went to zero, but I am not that patient, so I'm taking matters into my own hands. I don't see anyone nearby though, which is weird. Just the one guy. 
and those two that came the, the, to the crash site, but that doesn't really count. This was a lot easier than I thought it'd be. I might not actually get caught once in this part. Which would save a lot of extra space on my hard drive. Okay, we're in Dalenabodno. I'm actually gonna have to use CQC in this part. Whoa, wait, what? Oh, there we go. So two fellas are going across the bridge. And I'll wait for this guy to turn around again. I don't see anyone else here. If I had a gun, I'd be able to shoot the hive that's on that tree there. I don't know if you can see it. But I don't. The boss destroyed it, so I have to wait. I don't think I'm gonna go for him right now. Yeah, that guy's uh, turning around. This is HQ. Control here. Unable to locate. Understood. Return to your position. All right, so he's turned around. Oh, that guy's coming back through the bridge. Now I know why that guy came back early. It was whenever the timer went out. So we might have to be a bit patient here. Actually, that reminds me of a game that I completed recently. It's called Thief. I beat the game without killing anybody or knocking anybody out. It's really challenging. But it's a really fun game to play. Um, I didn't really pay attention to the story. and The ending was just really crappy. But the gameplay itself was really fun. I enjoyed it. There's a lot of thinking that goes into finding the perfect uh, stealth route. That guy's getting a little too close for comfort. Okay, that guy's going back towards the bridge. So now I'm gonna use CQC to knock this guy out. I have to use the D-pad, not the control stick. If I approach him with the control stick, he's gonna spot me. I never bothered in, uh, interrogating any of these guys, because most of the stuff that they say during interrogation is really just common sense. Like, I remember one time a guy said, if you throw a grenade and shoot it, like, no shit, what do you think happens to a grenade whenever you shoot it? It explodes, right? Oh, gotta remember to use the action button. There we go. Once I accident, ah, oh, god damn it again. Okay, I remember once I accidentally used the the A button to try to get up, and instead I just end up falling to my death. You have to use the action button, which is the Y button. And I think I can use the knife here to get these mushrooms open. Collect them rather. There's one guy that's over there on the other side of that wall. Or mound of dirt, whatever you want to call it. I'm messing up my grammar all sorts of times today. Yeah, there he is. There. So now he is unconscious. Or dazed, whatever. Now we can pick up the items down here. One of them should be uh, a new camo. Yeah. Camo, smoke grenade, and life medicine. In fact, I'm actually going to equip that life medicine in a second once I get past this cliff. Put it in my backpack. It's right here. There we go. And anything else I can put from here? Just the food that I've got. All right. All right, so I'm filming this part way faster than I did last time, which is good. Ra 
Asvet. Unlike the last time that we were here, there are no bad guys here. At least for now. Which is good, because now I can collect a bunch of items without anyone heckling at me. I should pick up a few more animals, too. For stamina's sake. In fact, I'm actually... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, actually, I'm gonna eat a Siberian ink cap right now so I can restore some of my stamina. Disgusting. I'm looking for snakes. There he is. There's one snake. Our snake H. Now, depending on the circumstances, later on I might try to find the Suchinko. It's a mythical snake in this game. Oh. Crap. I have to walk back up. AK-47. I probably won't be using that gun until near the end of the game. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Depends on how hard some of the boss battles will be. I'll tell you, there's there's one boss that I'm really not looking forward to fighting. But the others should be alright. But there's one boss that is l quite literally the bane of my existence. But I won't spoil him yet. Bug juice. I believe there's some face paint in this area here. Yep, zombie face paint. Climb up this ladder. And I don't see any new items. I saw a bird, but it flew away. Oh, there's one item I missed over here. How could I forget? Uh Cardboard box A. I believe that's the rest of the items. There's a locker right here. It has thermal goggles. It's really handy to have these goggles this early into the game. And there's nothing else in here right now. But oh wait! I think it's that time where we have another cutscene. Answer me. La la lu li lo. Trapped. Get down. How he kills all the guys in the vicinity right before he falls to the ground. Like that is just the magic of slow there motion. Is your answer? this introduction like don't you wish every girl you met in your life mm -hmm. greeted you by just showing off their their uh the names that you those 
<laughs> it's not exactly how I greet people if I were a lady. Kojima, you have no shame. This wasn't part of the plan. What happened to Adam? What's your code name? It's Snake. It's Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? What happened to Adam? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. I heard you used to be a codebreaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Mouser military. The broom handle. I like that. It packs quite a punch. The broom nice handle. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American made. Snake goes gaga over this. 45, huh? I love how he describes this weapon. Incredible. Do you like it? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced, and the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. The long type trigger with non-slip grooves. The ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Where'd you get something like this? I grabbed it from a Western munitions armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. You had this with you, didn't you? Better take this too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe, then? Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohan. Where? At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and continue north and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Right, let's get going. Wait a minute. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. Last time I checked, he was doing pretty... You'll never make it in your condition. He was doing pretty well. It's a jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. 
What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information. Nothing more. You look disappointed. All right, then. I'll do something special for you. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. Yes, ma'am. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. That'd be the codec. Gonna get that? She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> All right, so I think this is where I'll end the video here because the next part, after I save my game here, there's another cutscene and I don't want to skip over that. So anyways, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next part.